Hello Zebra Herd, welcome back to Bloons Tower Defense 6. And today we are checking out the daily challenge, which as you can see is four circles hard standard. And uh, yeah, take a look at this. It looks like we get a 200 Dart Monkey for winning. We get a Super Monkey as a bonus rewards and the monkeys available are Dart Monkey, Glue Monkey, uh, Druid Monkey, and a Banana Tower. So that seems pretty good. I do want to, you know, now nah, we'll do it later. I was gonna say, I do wanna check out to see if I have enough powers in the store, but for now, I think we'll be fine. We'll probably, of course, do the smart thing and start with a, a Dart Monkey. I think here is a pretty good spot for him because it also catches the ones going past it as well. So we'll try that out and sort of see how things end up going. Uh, and yeah, just sort of move with it, see what ends up happening, it might be nice and fun. I think we'll also get a glue monkey out now, and once again, he can sort of match the uh, curve of the circle a lot better, so we could actually just put him here. Uh, we, we missed one there, <laughs> it's okay though. We'll make it work, and then maybe we could even just do an early druid as well, and sort of how, see how that goes. Last episode, we did use druids as well, some of you let me know that his um, druid of Rapper the Minnow is the Pop Lust that improves other Druids with Pop Plus, that it does stack, of course, up to four. So I don't know how I missed that part. I was just being a total dingus. You know, it pops up the four, or it stacks up the four with Pop Lust. So gotta keep that in mind. With that being said, it wouldn't be too bad of an idea to build out this dude a little bit and sort of see how things go. Don't know who we're gonna focus on in today's episode, but so far this is actually seeming like a much easier um, mode than last daily challenge we performed. So I'm excited for that. I'm happy to see it. We'll probably just go with a crossbow with you when the time is necessary. If we wanna do pop lust with you and do like a whole bunch of pop lusts, then we're probably gonna have to try really hard. Maybe we could find out what Avatar of Wrath is. Maybe that'll be today's tier five. That'd be really cool. Um, but in the meantime, we'll have to earn up that pop lust. We're only like 4,000 experience away, so that should happen um, in today's episode. I mean, of course I could choose one of the other ones, but you know what, if we're doing that, we're doing that. You know, it'll be fine. <laughs> okay, so. Uh, yeah, it might be tough at first. I would like to see how far I can go without having to use any superpowers. And then when it comes to our glue gun friend here, I think I wanted to sort of, I really don't know. I feel like it would be good to go anti-Moab with him. Some people say the Moab glue isn't that great. Improved glue formula allows it to stick to Moab class balloons. But if we did that and then do also like corrosive glue, I feel like that'd be pretty good, but maybe not that effective. But then there's relentless glue, pop balloons that were glued leave a blob of glue on the track. Like really, I want him to slow things a lot down. So I feel like if he could slow down some Moabs, that'd be great for how early he is showing up in the level and for the fact that he's also technically at the exit. I feel like that's a great combo. So I think we'll do that. We'll work towards that uh, bottom path. It is a little expensive at some point. We'll also do glue soaking corrosive glue so that we have a little bit more offense as well. So we'll try that out and see how things go. If I can save some money by not using superpowers at first, that'd be fantastic. So the Heart of Vengeance gains attack speed for up to 100 lives lost. We haven't lost any lives, so I don't know if it's worth jumping to that just yet. And then for the other two, I think we'll do Heart of Oak because we can build a Druid with Lightning later that also has Pop Lust. Right now, I need to make sure that if I could uh, have protection against, you know, Regrow balloons, that's always a good protection to have. So just trying to make different things work for me. And also banana towers would be great, but having enough offense right now is a little tricky, but not impossible. For sure not impossible. Um, so we might actually want to push for that right now. Sort of push for the money, see what we get. Maybe get a banana farmer out here. And then, we, cause it's gonna be a long 80 rounds. <laughs> that's for sure. So yeah, I mean with all the water in this, uh, I mean, we have a couple of water spots. It would've been nice if we had like a uh, Buccaneer monkey or a uh, submarine one. But hey, we'll just do it we'll do with what we have. And so far, that's actually not turning out so bad. Now, it's not the Druid yet. It's always the, I always get the Druid and Alchemist confused because I think they're two just newer monkeys to this game, as far as I understand. And I always forget that, you know, <laughs> he, the Alchemist is the one that turns them into gold. I really like the Alchemist. I wanna play more with him. I wanna play more with like a ton of different monkeys, so. You know, it's on my to-do list, this game and plenty of other games. We're almost at that 1350, and that'll be beautiful. Yeah, by the time they, they wrap around again, they, they're having a hard time. So things are working out just fine for us. Just gotta get this last red balloon, and boom, we're at 2101, or 1201, not 20. Got that a little mixed up. Come on, come on, 100 more. We can do it. And then I'll probably just put it a little to the left, out of the action where we don't have to worry about it. Ready? Oh, nobody got that last green one. That's a bit of a pain, but still 96 health left. There we go, so put this here, and then where is the farmer? The farmer, can I sh select the farmer? Do I not have him? I guess I don't add for 50. All right, let's try this out. I mean, we have so much room for more. I feel like it'd be smarter. Actually, maybe it wouldn't be. 
Hard to say. But right now we can do that. And try that out. This guy's gonna be producing money. Maybe I could leave it be for now. Ah, hard to say. I think that we'll do our normal banana plantation and valuable bananas. That'd be nice. And I think some people were saying like a four zero two dart monkey is pretty good as well. I mean, that's, I have done that before. Yeah, that would make sense. Uh, yeah, I try to keep in mind every all, all the bits of advice I can get because I always need it, right? Okay, so we have that anti regrow. Let's get that going. There we go. That's good. It just totally just dismantles them. It's beautiful. We can even do Heart of Vengeance because we have taken four damage, and then there's Druid of Wrath, which once again gains attack speed during the round as long as the Druid is popping balloons. So the more they pop, the faster they go. As far as I can understand. So yeah, we don't really, whoa, that's a lot of balloons though. I really need to start focusing on that, I think. Actually, no, we handled that pretty well. Let's do corrosive glue. That'll give us a little bit more oomph to our situation, I think. Then if we could just get, I think for right now we'll do long light bananas so we can just jump to the valuable bananas. Just make that easier for us. And then after that, things might start rolling our way monetarily. That's what I'm hoping for. How are you doing experience wise? You're at 30,000. You actually haven't been getting too much. It's only been like about 2,000 so far for you. Ooh, this is a lot this time. Uh, so a yellow one got by, but that's really about it. So that actually isn't too bad. We'll almost have the 865 for this. There we go, we got it. So now there's more valuable balloons coming in. I really need to do something about this though. I mean, actually, I don't know. Not, maybe not quite yet. It's getting there, like those ones got by. But it's not the end of the world. 84 health, this is where I really need to start being careful though. Like looking through everything, what's my next best step? Uh, we could do stronger glue to make guys slower. Don't know if they're a little too late for this round, I guess. Ooh, if you could, I, I need you to be crossbow. I think that's a big thing that I'm messing up here is that I really need him to be crossbow. Oh, the cross of glue saved us from a little bit of damage there, thank you. I appreciate that. So we'll do crossbow and then we'll, oh, but increase production. It's like, you know, you gotta spend money to make money. Oh, it's hard to say. Come on, we're almost at 675 already. Boom, got it. That should make things way easier, for sure. Um, come on, keep going, keep going. I don't know what tier five we'll end up getting in today's episode. We might just have to sort of balance whatever's safe. I'd love it to be whatever the tier five for the Druid is, but that might not really be very viable. That's that's already happening, we got that increased production. Bunch of red balloons now. We can already see camo. The only thing I'm sort of kind of getting worried about is I don't know if we have too much of a way to deal with leads. At the moment, ooh, that's a lot of yellows. This is just like a large stream of balloons. So I think it would be smart if I could get somebody here. I feel like I need to get them closer to the center. I thought that'd be smarter. But if we could get, oh, and speaking of which, here they are. So it looks like maybe the corrosive glue does get through the leads, but I feel like we need something a little bit more reliable, and I think a spike of pulp would be great right about now. So we'll try this out, get the 250, so, or 215, so that we can see that. And this part's a little bit more expensive. But then after this, we gotta be ready 10 more rounds from now? It's it's Moab time. So that's gonna be tough. At, at least it's an easier map. We got the zebra balloons coming in. Gotta say, I love the fact that they're zebras. I don't love the fact that they're difficult to deal with. Come on, 1945, and then I'll have the juggernaut. And as you can see, it's just a giant spiked ball. And it gets rid of ceramics, which is that's pretty good, you know? 16,000 is gonna be a bit expensive. It's so, like, I'd love to get the 2700. It might be smarter for right now to push for another banana plantation and just try to put it somewhere close by. And then after that, work for the uh, corrosive glue for, or the, the Moab glue. Yep, okay. So we'll try that, we'll see what ends up happening. Like we're handling this pretty decently now. Yeah, it's, it's getting there, like it's streaming in here, you can tell, and that ain't so good. But once again, it's still not the end of the world. We're making it work, and there we go. Cleared out that round with no damage. Now I gotta not make too much mistakes here. Let's try to put this here. That's in the range, sort of, kind of. <laughs> All right, ready, increase production. You'll be able to pick that stuff up pretty easily, and then long life bananas. Can we get another 865? I mean, we got five more rounds to prepare for everything else. So maybe I really gotta start doing some other stuff, because this is getting nasty over here. We're at 71 health now. It's hard to build a solid strategy with these, these guys. Can we get 865 for this, and then we can just go all in with everything else? Okay, ooh, camo leads, oh no, not camo leads, camo hearts, there we go, we were able to damage them down a little bit. What do we need right now? What is what is gonna help us right now? Uh, just about anything would be helpful. I think we need a second druid, put him about there, and we need him to have lightning, like that'd be great. Jeez, I feel like I've made some major mistakes here, but this is where we can produce more money than we normally are used to, right? That'd be good. Those leads are being a pain. Oh, the leads are really tough here. 
Okay, got it, 1,080. There we go, that's gonna be good. So we need to start working for that pop lust real bad. I know I also need to do the, the glue, but I might just have to hold that off. Come on, come on, come on, everybody work. That lightning is fantastic. That lightning is doing the works. So do it, Druid of Wrath again. One more round into that Moab, so we will have to see. Like, can we earn up 2,700 between now and then? Probably not. Oh, we're, we're getting close, we're getting close. Whoa, we might be able to do it. Look at that, we did it, okay. So boom, bought that, that'll be great for this Moab. And then we're really working it down. It looks like it takes a lot of work, as you can see, but we popped it. And then we get the ceramics, not a problem for the uh, the spike pole. Oh gosh, there's still a lot of balloons getting through. Oh, not quite though, only one or two got through. So now we're gonna earn up another 2700 for the pop lost and maybe just do that again for another pop lost. Like, that'd be beautiful. Because that's what it does, right? It boosts attack speed for all druids. So if we could get another like lightning focused one, like I feel like that'd be a really good idea. And then we have it. Oh, let's see what it is. It is Avatar of Wrath. The more balloons there are, the more damage it does. Now that is cool, but at a whopping 48,600, will we truly be able to get to that in today's episode? I would like to say we could. Chances are we can't. Oh, we need something. I think a little bit better for this. We need a 2160 for that, which we now have. If I could actually, no, I clicked the wrong one. Dang it. <laughs> I mean, it's good for him to have pop loss, but I wanted to get the sharpshooter. So we're making our way through. We're more than halfway done with all of this, which means we have a lot more work ahead of us. 2160, come on, we can do it, we can do it, we can do it. Ready, boom, got it. So what is the upgrade for this one's uh, 3670? That's tough. We should be able to do that. Come on. Oh, we got the purple. The purple are tough, especially I think they were both purple and camo. Because the banana plantation 367 grows 16 banana bunches per round. That'll be really productive. Ooh, look at those fortified ceramics. Couldn't even move. Amazing stuff. So there we go, we got this. That's a lot of bananas being made now, a lot of money. I think we just have to keep to the one for now, though. Hmm. It says it's popped 5,000 balloons? How's it popped any balloons? On the top there. I don't know, that's weird. Anyways, let's do Relentless Glue, and then I think we're gonna work towards another Druid as soon as I can afford it. Because we're getting lower and lower in health. Like that's, ooh, it's getting bad. It's getting real bad. I need to get somebody who can see camo, and then like just maybe some kind of, oh, we're about to lose. We're about to lose. We're about to lose. Oh, man, that is so tough. I really don't know what we can do about that. I feel like, I don't know, like I feel like I gave it my all there. Power-ups maybe would have helped. <laughs> all right, well, we'll head home. Maybe we'll try some other challenge. I think that we'll just go ahead and get some more levels done. That would be sort of ideal to me. Like apparently we haven't gotten this level done on easy? You sure about that? It says I have not done it. I've not done this level on easy. All right, let's give it a shot. We'll do it on easy and hopefully we can try, you know, just try it again and see what ends up happening. Maybe it'll be a little bit better. We haven't tried just a normal, Round in a while. Maybe it'd be smarter to have him here. And then we can do that. That should be pretty good, that's a great start. Wow, okay. Got the crossbow already. I mean, maybe Churchill wasn't the best choice. He's a bit of an expensive one. But we're gonna try to push for the Druid this time, sort of see how things end up going. So, we'll even use superpowers to do it, because we need $40,000. Then let me go ahead and like, man, those are so expensive, 200 each. I just realized how crazy that is. Let's just try to get as crazy of a start as we can. So, get another one going. Got it, okay. So $5,000, now that's a lot more to work with. We can get a Churchill out, and I definitely, ooh, we could get something like this. I feel like this is beautiful, because like it has sort of a backdoor protection, and it has a little bit more than that. And he's just gonna do his thing the whole time. So in the meantime, since we have the money, I'm gonna do the whole, and a whole nother banana farm. Do that get the banana farmer, and just make as much money with this as possible. For right now, it might be smarter just to make another banana farm. We can make a third one? Put it right here, right? No? Dang. Guess I could have done better with that placement. Let's just focus on these two then. Uh, once again, I still think it's, because like with the marketplace, it just adds it to your total. And then same thing with the, the monkey bank, it builds up over time. So I think we want the top layer still. Something like that and then let's try to make them a bit more affordable. And of course, this is easier because it's on easy mode, everything's a little bit cheaper. So we're already around six, things are going pretty well. I like it. 
So yeah, I know I'm sort of cheating a lot for this one, but I really just want to see tier five uh, druid. That's what I'm really looking for in today's episode. I really want to start doing that, find a tier five or get to a tier five in every episode. So that's going to be our goal in today's episode is to get to tier five, uh, pop lust, whatever it was, the, the druid of, it wasn't the druid of wrath. You know what I mean? We'll find out again soon. But for now, just gotta earn up more cash. Like it's going pretty decent. Like if I could throw in another one somewhere, it'd be nice. I don't know if that's actually gonna happen though. But yeah, we have like camo protection. We have what definitely connects? lead protection. So like things are going pretty well with that. I wonder how well, how long we can just keep what we got going on now. I don't know. You know we just keep this like going on until like round 20 and then get these guys buffed up. Get the 2890 cost banana plantation on each one. That'd be crazy. I'd really appreciate that. But I don't know if that's gonna actually happen. Of course, we're not earning much money from the round, it's mostly just from the bananas. Come on, come on, we're actually getting there though. Level up, nice stuff. So you have your uh, first move, your first ability. Of course, if you didn't see, we already checked this guy out in a previous episode, it was awesome. Uh, episode 18, this is episode 20th, 20th episode, how cool is that? Okay, so let's do that. that. That's definitely helping, making much more cash now. You know what, that thing on the top doesn't tell you how much it's popping, it's how much money it's produced. So, so far, I, it has not produced as much money as I've put into it. But I think that'll change over time for sure. Just takes a lot of effort, but that's why you wanna get it set up early. Okay, so yeah, by the time it actually gets past Churchill here, it's like it's, it's not even a problem. It's like the, the the crossbow monkey just deals with the rest, so I'm really not too concerned at the moment, but now we're gonna start getting our first druid out, and I think I do wanna make like a bit of a cluster in this first circle. So like maybe one here, he's just waving at me like, hello, how are you? And this one, of course, will immediately start working to the Heart of Vengeance and to the Druid of Wrath and everything. I think we'll also do, for him, we'll do Heart of Oak because that was our undoing was those camo uh, regrow balloons. Don't really know what we could have done about those with our like with our challenge there, you know? So that stunk, but hey, what are you gonna do? Okay, so let's get to 2125 right there, and then we might wanna push for, no, no, we already got that, so don't wanna worry about that too much for right now, because there's really not too much I can do about it. We can get 1700, that's easy. So yeah, the Avatar of Wrath is gonna take some time, gonna take some work. We could try an alchemist now for real and make him turn stuff into gold. That'd be amazing. That's the bottom layer, the bottom lane or whatever. And then, was it the yeah, larger potions, right. acidic mixture, mixture dip, faster throwing. That seems pretty good to me. Lead to gold, rubber to gold soon enough, and that'll just be some major money making. I like it. Cause I really don't even need anybody to earn too much experience. And we'll get 75 money monkey from this. I spent way more than that, it's the problem. I need to start doing some stuff. I, I don't know why I keep pulling that up, I'm so sorry. Uh, Come on, come on, ready, almost there, got it. Nice stuff. So now we're turning a lot of stuff into money, we're just getting a lot of income. So now you've made 7,500, you made almost 6,000. Starting to make our money back from it a little bit. We got lots more work to do. Get more druids out. And this guy's gonna be definitely lightning, and then we can do another pop lust. 21, 25 shouldn't be that big of a deal. Almost towards the end, we're just gonna push into free play after that, of course. That's gonna be the smartest thing we can do. So if we can get four druid monkeys to stack up pop lust, let's go for that as soon as we can. We'll have two lightning guys, two non-lightning guys, and sort of see what ends up happening. Cause they can't even get into this first circle right now. That's like how effective this is. It's pretty crazy. All right. I'm gonna keep going. So I don't know what that is. I guess that might be leads. It's actually, it's still exploding too fast for me to see what those are and why they're not coming out as fast. So one last druid, put them there. And once again, this should all stack because it's all pop lust. So do that, get the 850, I guess. Well, we'll get the 510 for this first. Uh, and then we'll do the 850. Come on, come on, come on. Boom, got it. It's a very good productivity going on right now. I gotta be honest, it's great. So, uh, 2125, and then we're just gonna save everything. I think at this rate, we could really save everything and be totally fine. Um, for 38,250, and that'll be crazy. That is the Avatar of Wrath. He looks really cool, he's, he's very evil. That's gonna take a lot of money, like, geez. I mean, we're obviously making a lot of money as well, but it's just, it invests a lot of time. 
got to invest a lot of time into it. We're about to hit that final round. Like I said, we're just going to keep going. We're going to keep pushing until we have tons of money. So uh, whatever we got to do to do that. Yeah, I'd love to hear your thoughts on Avatar of Wrath if you think he's worth it or not. I mean, I feel like he really is like a super late game thing. Maybe I was trying to rush him too soon because once again, the more balloons there are, the faster he goes. So obviously these later rounds where there is just tons of balloons, he is going to dominate. So that's awesome. I like that a lot. I don't see who wouldn't. So we're, we're getting there. I mean, like one fifth of the way there. First mom class balloon. Goodbye mom class balloon. Victory, 75 monkey money. Yeah, we got our free play. So what is gonna go on now? I mean, we're just gonna keep pushing. We're almost at 15,000. We need, once again, almost 40,000. So once we hit 20K, we'll be, on, we'll be a little more than halfway there. So it's something. It's it, it's sort of a pro, it's a progress, you know? A process, that's what I meant. I don't know if I should go for this instead. I don't know if it would be worth it, the banana research facility. Because it's five large and they're 300 each. So that would mean that he's making 1,500 per round, which would just take a lot of rounds to bounce back from, you know? I don't know if that's worth it. Like it'd be if I plan on going another 100 rounds, you know? But I don't, I just really want to get to the 40,000. I don't think it's gonna get difficult anytime soon, you know? Like I think it's gonna stay how it is. So let's just keep going. 20,000 now. Churchill's doing well. He's got his uh, stuff going on. Very expensive to level him up now, 10,000. You know, that's like, this is pretty crazy. So we're more than halfway there now for sure. And just gets higher and higher. Dude, the 25s that these guys are adding really isn't much anymore. Fortified ceramic balloons, no problem. We got it. Easy peasy. Oh, uh, with the camo though, that's where it gets scary, the camo. But even then, Churchill can just mow down the camos, so it's fine. Even if the uh, druids can't see. That's sort of the hard part about that daily challenge, like what are you really gonna do against the camos? Like maybe there's something I oversaw there that I just like I missed. Maybe like glue gunners can actually do something better against camos, but I don't see anything they could do against camos that would actually be like super crazy good or anything, you know? So I don't really know what the case is there. But if you guys have any, you know, hints for me for that daily challenge, what did you do that might have been better? I'd love to hear. But for now. I almost had this druid. Ooh, that's a lot of balloons. But remember, once we get this avatar of wrath, that's gonna be really good. It's good that there's a lot of balloons. We're almost there, come on. Come on, ready? Boom! Look at this dude. Avatar of wrath, he's gonna destroy stuff like crazy. I wanna go slow-mo. He's just throwing stuff out all over the place. That is awesome. He's just glowing red, he's angry, he's mean, he's in control. And it's like, I wonder how far we could push with this. I mean, we might as well keep going and sort of see the ceramics, these are camo ceramics. So once again, the uh, the druids are totally useless for this one. So our best, but if we really want to push for something smart, you know, since it's, you know, not a daily challenge with the limited stuff, our smartest thing we could possibly do, as far as I can tell, is to find a good place to put this guy and l bigger radius first off. And then what's gonna make him the radar scanner? That's what we want. Got it, so now everybody should be able to see camos and that'll be beautiful. So nothing should get in these guys' way at this point, which is great. Oh my gosh, it's all kinds of beautiful. So we could probably go like this forever. I wish there was like a super fast button you can press that just zoops through the waves because at this rate, not our problem. And we can just activate Churchill's superpower, even though we don't really need it too much. Cause they're just throwing Moab after Moab. We'll try to get to round 80, because I think we would be able to defeat hard mode with just this, you know? That should be pretty fine. Okay, so, 10,000 now, $10,000. We'll probably spend another on, we'll, we'll try a banana research facility and see how that goes. I mean, I could try for some other stuff. Ooh, the alchemist getting some upgrades. What should we get for him? What is the most expensive thing, the 30,000? Um, I don't have enough for that one. So, uh, I wanna do the most expensive thing first so that it's easier to deal with to get the least lower expensive things. You know, just get the hard things out of the way so you don't have to worry about them anymore. That's always my strategy with things. Uh, Go ahead and do this. Ooh, hoo, hoo, that's a lot of bananas. And then Banana Central. It's gonna be a lot of work. But it's definitely up, upping the productive production very majorly. Okay, so if nothing is getting past this first loop, nothing at all. I mean, maybe once we get to round 80, that'll be a little bit better. But this guy just looks cool, you know? Like That's sort of a big thing. I like it when the tier fives look cool. That's why I'm curious to see what the new guys are gonna look like. We got 12,000 experience, so we need another, ooh, we need another 
28,000 deer? Yeah, we need another 28,000 there to get that one. That's probably the next one we'll try to save up for because it's so expensive. All right. But yeah, I'll try to do one tier five an episode and really see how that goes for us. I feel like that's sort of our best bet with everything, is just going for the tier fives. And uh, just, you know, I feel like that's a fun way to showcase things. It's just one episode has a tier five, and hopefully eventually we can showcase all of them. This is really turning through stuff, we're earning up tons of cash. I just wanna get to round 80. So if we could get another druid, cause I'm sure like that, yeah, that's sort of an individual thing. Well, why is the upgrade locked for you? Oh, that's right, I totally forgot about that. You can only have one tier five per round, or per like map. So you can't even have another uh, avatar. Of I totally forgot about that. Totally, that's interesting. So we could try some other stuff right now if we wanted to, because you know things are going bad a little bit, but then they catch up again. Maybe way back this way. No, no, no. I think this is better. But this is better for uh, catching those balloons that are really gonna go crazy on us. Yeah, something like this might be pretty good. Just spikes everywhere, and then we'll do like another one. And this one will be like increased production Moab Shredder, bigger stacks, that's pretty cool. They reset every round, but that's fine. It's gonna be shredding those Moabs, and that's pretty good. Gotta make sure I'm using uh, this dude's special whenever I can as well. There's not really too much I can do with this. I mean, I, I feel like the upgrade path I pushed for wasn't perfect for this, but you know, it doesn't matter too much, does it? Maybe we could just do something for fun, like the super monkey might be good. Uh, what should we do for him now? I mean, we could try, ooh, yeah, 85,000 experience for that, holy cow, there's a lot. That's like super crazy expensive. Um, like there's knockback, there's laser blast, I think we'll do sun avatar, that sounds like a lot of fun. Um, yeah, we got a lot of work for the super monkey, for sure. And then we'll do super range, epic range, because why not? He's just super overpowered. Maybe not powerful enough, we'll find out. Okay, a little bit more, a little bit more. Got it, I know this was supposed to be showcasing the power of this guy, but I feel like it is starting to catch up to us a little bit. If we can just make it to round 80 at this point, I'll be happy. So, we'll go for that, we'll see what ends up happening, and everything should be great, right? Okay, good stuff, level up. Almost at 8,000, come on, 9,000 now. So we'll, we'll need 10 more rounds after this. But uh, un unfortunately, you don't get too much experience. Like we're at 13,493. How much experience will we get for this round? Uh, If any, do you get any experience for free play? Oh, wrong character. We're at 13,493, now at 13,554. So like 100, 200 experience. Well, we need 50,000. That's not gonna make a big mark in what we need to do. So yeah, not that crazy, that's okay. So uh, we'll just try to get to round 70. I mean, I know we're going to, so maybe we can just wrap up with that. But for the heck of it, we'll keep going. To just prove this, this would have worked. I mean, I had to use a ton of superpowers to get here, so obviously I'm not some hot shot that just does everything correctly. Actually, more the opposite. There we go. Churchill's uh, stuff really helps though, for sure. Come on now. Uh. Get those, that's pretty good. Yeah, the superpowers help us for when we need it. I just like how he's like totally red, like he's just imbued in anger. You can't wait to see what the other druid ones are. That's sort of the fun part, is the, the mystery of it, right? Because it's always hidden behind some kind of mysterious like thing. Like you don't see that for these ones. You already know what these look like, already from the beginning you know. But these are mysteries until you get there, and that is super cool. I love that. So yeah. Um. Can't get that anytime soon. One for the history books, apparently. I mean, I could upgrade Churchill a little bit. If I had the extra cash, why not? There we go. Got him two more levels. That's beautiful. Could have done something else with my money, too. Yeah, but I wanted to do that. Okay, five more rounds. This is taking forever. Like, it doesn't matter how many, how fast we destroy them. It's just there's a lot of them, you know? So it just takes a while. Oh, that's when he goes crazy, when there's that many balloons. Like how many balloons, he's popped over 100,000. Compared to the super monkey, he's gotten 60,000. These guys, 14. Uh, what about this guy down this way? No, this one. 6,000, and then 8,000, yes. 26,000. 
Yeah, you have destroyed, dude, 111,000. And you over here, you've only done 5,487. You've popped zero and you've popped 91. Whoa, whoa, what were they pulsating red? I don't know what that was. Maybe that was something that the uh, Avatar of Wrath does? I'm not really sure. In the meantime, let's destroy them this way. It's 100,000 balloons, it's insane. He's really going crazy with it. Like, he just throws out tons of damage. Like, maybe he doesn't even have projectiles. Maybe he just uses that red thing, and just like sort of squishes them with his ultimate power. Okay, so 20, 75 ceramic balloons in a tiny space. This is what happens. Oh my, destroy him, destroy him, destroy him. Yeah, that is good. I mean, that's the halfway point right there, I think. Okay, they, they didn't even get to all these guys down here. Look at how many spikes there are. It's an insane amount. Just waiting for it forever. Okay, so, uh. Yeah, we're about to get there. I don't really need these guys anymore. I could sell them. And they've made a lot of money, apparently 60,000 now. So they, they eventually make back their cash, which is great. Alright, let's go ahead and do this. Oh, did I press it or not? Oh, there it goes. Just took a little bit. So, about to hit it round 80, and then we'll complete that one. We'll be all wrapped up for today's episode. Unfortunately, we didn't get any level ups in today's video. That sort of stinks, but it's okay. Always next time. Uh, lots of stuff going on here. I have enough for like another fully upgraded monkey if we wanted to. Just something for fun. Don't know what that'd be. Maybe get a fully, oh no, come back here. That's not what I wanted, jeez. Get the glue monkey, and we'll just get like a crazy glue thing going on here. Something like that might be fun. Okay, oh, and it's the Zomg. We don't even have uh, Churchill's moves. Don't even need them. Don't even. All right, so there we go. There's round 80. I'm gonna leave it at that. We're gonna head out of here. Ready, just like this, and head home. And uh, yeah, there we go, all wrapped up. Unfortunately, I failed at today's daily challenge. I don't think I'm gonna be able to do it, though. Do we have any points? We don't. Um, with that being said, how close am I? I'm very close to level 54, only about 50 more, 50,000 more experience. That might be a little bit more effort than I thought. But with all of that being said, that was a lot of fun. Let me know your thoughts on the, 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 the Wrath, or the, the Avatar of Wrath, that's what his name is. I love to hear your thoughts on this guy. I think he's super cool, but I wanna hear your feedback as well. With all that being said, thank you guys so much for watching today's episode of Bloons Tower Defense 6. If you watch this point of video, make sure you comment Zebra of Wrath, so I know you've watched at the end of you are a Zebra-tastic viewer. Check out more episodes like this one on your screen right now, or by subscribing to join the Zebra Herd. Either way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time, bye-bye.